Hello and welcome to today's lesson on finding arc measures of a circle. And of course, I am starting with a joke. What did the farmer use to make crop circles? What did the farmer use to make crop circles? We'll get back to that at the end of the lesson. So the, t let's start with some vocabulary on arcs of circles. So we'll start with a circle, center C. And well, we're going to put a couple points here. A, um, any, a central angle of a circle has the center as the vertex of the angle. A central angle of the circle has the center of the circle as the vertex. So in this example, a, angle ACB is what's called the central angle. And arcs can be called minor arcs or major arcs, and a minor arc is less than 180 degrees of the circle. So here we have minor arc A, A, sorry, A, B. And that little symbol on the top there is referring to an arc. And the major arc would be, would be something greater than 180 degrees. So on this particular circle, we've got major arc A, D, B. ADB, sorry I wrote that out of order, ADB, and A and B need to be the endpoints of the arc, so the arc starts at A and goes around to B, and we need to refer to that third point so that we know that it's the major arc versus the minor arc of that circle. So this minor arc is just going right from the arc that goes right from A to B, and major goes all the way around because it goes through D. And of course a semicircle is going to be um, exactly 180 degrees and the endpoints are on the diameter and are, um, the, it makes up the, di the endpoints of the arc are on the diameter. So let's just apply that and talk about how we actually measure an arc. So if we have a circle and we're going to keep it somewhat the same here. So if I've got circle C and if I know that the measure of angle ACB is 50 degrees, if the measure of that central angle is 50, then the measure of the arc, which we write with a little m and then AB with the arc symbol, then the measure of the arc is 50 degrees. And in this case, the measure of the major arc, which we again refer to as ADB, because we have to make, sep we have to separate it from this one, ADB goes around this way, is going to be equal to 360 degrees minus the 50 degrees, or in other words, 310 degrees. So that measure of angle, A, sorry, measure of arc ADB is uh, 310 degrees. Let's just put up a quick example, and I'm going to have you pause the video to try this one. So here's a quick uh, practice. So if I've got the circle, center C, straight segment going through here, and let's go like this, call that D, and call this 135 degrees. Let's practice finding these arc measures. Three problems. What is the measure of angle DB? I'm sorry, measure of arc DB. What is the measure of arc DAB? And lastly, what is the measure of arc ADB? So pause the video, try those, and then I will go over the answers. Really pause it. All right, so we're back. The measure of arc DB is the measure of the angle. So that's 135. Measure of DAB, since a full circle is 360, is going to be 360 minus the 135 or 225 degrees, okay, from here to here. And the measure of angle ADB, I can tell from the diagram that's straight across and it goes to the center, so that's the diameter. So that measure of that arc is 180 degrees. All right, just a few other concepts in this lesson, and um, then you can get to practicing. Something we need to know about 
circles are whether or not two circles are congruent. And for two circles to be congruent, uh, they just have to have congruent radii. So let's kind of jot that down. Congruent circles um, are, just a little dash here, circles are, circles are congruent if radii are congruent. So if we have, sorry, if this circle and we've got this circle with those congruent marks, we'll call it circle A, circle B. Circle A is congruent to circle B because they have congruent radii. Okay. Congruent arcs uh, have to be on either the same circle or congruent circles. So what do I mean by that? Let's jot that down first. Congruent arcs, you have to have, they have, the arcs have the same measure, the same degree measure, and are from either the same circle or from congruent circles. All right, so what do I mean by that? So here's an example uh, over here where I have, let's put the center of the circle here. I'm going to put a couple radii here, D, E, C, F. Uh, and if this is 80 degrees and this is 80 degrees, okay, these are two radii of the same circle and they have the, the same, and the central angles have the same measure. So arc CD is congruent to arc EF. That would also be true if it was on two separate circles, but they were congruent because they had the same radii. So this arc is the same measure as this arc. An example of when of arcs that are not congruent. So let's sketch a smaller circle and then a bigger circle. Okay, let's drop in, put in a center, and I'm going to put a, let's make that a right angle. Call that point T, R, S, U. Now, arc RS, let's go like this, mark, our measure of RS is equal to the 90 degrees, and the measure of arc TU is also 90 degrees, but RS is not congruent to TU because those are not congruent circles. So we don't say that they have the same measure. They have both have their 90 degree arcs, but they're not congruent arcs. They're not congruent arcs, obviously, right? There's this little guy and the big guy. And that covers the big ideas. Back to our joke. Why did the farmer no. What did the farmer use to make crop circles? A protractor. <laughs> All right.